Yo, Isala, drop that beat. All right. Yeah. All right, listen. It's quadrilateral time. That's why I'm busting in your classroom, spitting this rhyme. Quadrilaterals. There were plenty of types. Squares, rectangles, rhombuses, kites, trapezoids, semi-sasalis, every shape different with its own properties, find parallel sides, that's the way to start, you can use what you find to tell the shapes apart, let me show you the way you can follow along, just listen to these lyrics as I rap the song, no parallel sides, it could be a kite, it's diagonals meet at an angle that's right. If parallel sides are only one pair, then it can't be a ramus, rectangle, or square. It's a trapezoid with legs and bases times two. If it's isosceles, we know two facts are true. Number one is the angles at the base. They got to be equal. That's a fact you can't erase. Number two, you can take it from me. Two sides are equal. That's geometry. Parallelograms, as you can see with your eyes, have two pairs of opposite parallel sides. Those sides are congruent. You can tell your mother, and their diagonals bisect each other. Take, for example, rectangle and square. The shapes are different, but properties they share. Just look, and it's easy to see. Their interior angles measure 90 degrees. Ramos and Square, they are different in name, but they both have sides that all measure the same. I hope this rap has helped you out in class, and when you take the next test, you'll be sure to pass. It's just a few simple steps to help you classify. You can take it from me. I'm the amazing math guy.